for you guys settling for avid average would be like great don't you guys believe in equality <laughs> no what is are you saying we're average i mean are you guys fucking kim kardashian <laughs> yeah do you think you're above average what's wrong with average um Hold i on. think I mean, are we talking physically? Are we talking personality? Are we talking overall? In the dating marketplace, you're 25 with an OnlyFans and you're saying that you don't want to settle for average. Do you think that you're above average? Do you think you're better than this average guy that you're talking about? You're I better than a firefighter or an electrician? Give me a fucking break. If that's all he wants for the rest of his life, then yes, I think that I'm better than average. What makes you better than him? I want more for myself. Like what? Money. For what? For opportunity to travel. Jesus can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? The funniest part is the women, especially the women on this show, will say what makes you a high value man isn't your money, it's your morals. But these women will be strippers and say they won't settle for a firefighter because they make more money than him. So not only did you value money over your own morals, but you also think that you're better than men because you have more money than them, which is exactly what you say you're against. Literally getting her fucking no, no, buck, 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 buck. Literally getting dug out raw. Raw! Do you still use anything that was given by your ex? I use the trauma she gave to inflict it on other people. <laughs> <laughs> it's an evil world we live in. What is the age range of your ideal man? 28. 23 to 28? Yeah. The race of your ideal man? I don't have a type. Minimum height? <laughs> About 6'3. And minimum income? Just depending what's on that fee. Six figures a year, I'm guessing? Yes, that's Six actually feet. perfect. The probability of you finding your ideal man is 0.075%. Oh. So I'm one of a kind, okay. Let's get one thing straight. Crack is cheap. What's your problem with child support? Like, let's just say if like, a nigga had a kid and, and maybe he's not in the best predicament right now to, to you know, to, you know, call for bread to help the, to help the, you know, mom. So you gonna take the nigga to jail? God damn. And then you gonna keep charging his ass? I mean, that's, that's slavery, my nigga. And, and if, if you gonna have child support, put it on like a card that like can only be used at like walmart or some shit because i don't I, it ain't no reason are you sure this isn't personal <laughs> no 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 this, this ain't personal but i'm well well it, it is to an extent because i didn't see my aunt do this shit to people like, <laughs> the kid he was you know he was he was cool or whatever he hung out with me a lot and this used to be like do you have some food and i'm like you ain't got no food at home no but she around her walking around with Gucci bags and shit. Like, nigga, you a scumbag. <laughs> your phone around, around here hungry as hell, but tell ass eating on the low. <laughs> like, nigga, that's crazy to me. I mean, listen, he not wrong. <laughs> exactly. Every study shows that a father is the most important component to a child's life. But the state doesn't care about the kid. The state cares about the 66 cents on every dollar that they collect from the fathers paying the child support. If the state actually cared about the kid, they wouldn't take the father away because he's the most important component and putting money on a card so that is tracked and women can only spend money in certain places for the kids is just a w idea why are we not funding this a lot of people grandmoms who was getting cheated on by uncle earl <laughs> no uncle earl was down the block doing his ones and twos and coming home and beating on shirley like come on now we're not about to act like in the mic the in the mic in the mic we're not about to act like back in the day them ladies won't going through it and sticking by their husband because they supposed to because they married no i got money now fuck the husband See, that's what I'm saying. I feel like the money, look, that's the Because the money was the only that. power the husband had. What you talking about? That's not I'm sure. Okay. See, that's the problem with today. A lot of these women finally, congratulations, you can pay your bills. You're an adult. But at the end of the day, in order for us to be able to thrive, not survive in apartments, to be able to thrive, success is a team sport. I'm mm. going to need your, your abilities. You're going to need my abilities. So, yes, you can keep that one-bedroom economy apartment with the Nissan Sentra outside with the Mr. Hub cap. You can keep that shit up. But in order for us to thrive, to generational wealth, to make sure that our children and our children's children are born millionaires, you're going to need some help, big dog. And guess what? I got the help. And with me, with my help, it comes with respect. With my help, it comes with submission. With my help, it comes with your not being so goddamn friendly. Because if not, you can carry your ass up with the Nissan and try to find a f hub cap. I love men. Like, I think men are the coolest, but do like, I don't need them to survive. You do actually need men to survive. And here's why. Everything that you see around you was built and created and maintained by men. Okay. Everything. The infrastructure in this country, in every single country in the world, is built, created.
created and maintained by good, honest, hardworking men that just want to provide for their family. Everything, the roads you drive on, the buildings you live in. So you think you don't need men to survive, huh? Well, if men weren't around, who would buy your OnlyFans? See, this is what happens when you let prostitutes think that their opinion matters. We don't pay you to use your mouth to talk. We pay you to use your mouth for other things. How about you use your mouth for that? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Question of the day. What privileges do men have? Men are physically bigger and stronger and we can expose our chest in public. That's about it. You can walk home at night without being scared. Scared of what? Being attacked? Newsflash, men can be attacked too. In fact, we're more likely to be attacked, assaulted, stabbed, shot, way more. Men aren't looking at a dark alley at 2 a.m. going, yay, I can go down that because I'm a man. What are you talking about? The wage gap. Nope, in general, women make about 83 cents on the dollar. But women in their 20s are actually matching or out earning men in their 20s. In fact, in places like Philly, Atlanta, LA, San Fran, New York, Miami, and other major cities where young women are often screaming the loudest about this, they're making anywhere from 95 to 112% of what men in the same city make. Add in that men are more likely to ask for a raise, work longer hours, work in higher paying fields. The gap is a total myth. Men are still expected to act chivalrously. Men are still expected to physically protect women. And men are still judged harshly for not contributing financially to a household. Women are loved regardless of their financial contribution. So please, ladies, enlighten me. What privileges do men have? Women get free stuff. Women get 60% less time for the exact same crimes. Women get the right to vote without registering for the draft. While women make just as much money as men, 97% of all alimony is paid from men to women. And to add insult to injury, 75% of the time is the woman that filed for divorce in the first place. Men are expected to pay most or all of the bills. Men are expected to pay for dates. 95% of all workplace deaths are men and 95% of all military deaths are men. Meaning men are more likely to die building and and maintaining society and more likely to die protecting that society. 85% of the homeless population is men and the list goes on and on and on. But at least men can sleep with women without social stigma. That's only if you're in the top 20% of men that are actually even able to do that. Check this out, y'all. So every single day before I go to work, she do this every single day. She got my work clothes, my lunch, my wallet, my belt, everything I need to go to work. My wife do this every day. Something that she don't have to do. She do it every day. That's why I act the way I act. Cause she treat me like a king at home. You ready to mess this up? Man, I'm finna mess this up, man. I'm about to go to work, make this money for her real quick. Love you. That's a W. That's E1. That's one. That's a w. Most men aren't hard to please. And this might be sad, but men don't get free stuff. They rarely get any attention. And hell, most men don't ever even get a compliment. Most men go their entire lives so undervalued that they will literally give you the shirt off of their back as long as you show them you appreciate it. Good cooking, good consciousness, good companionship, and good cookies. Let me know in the comments below if this video was a WRL and give me the HBO special. That's a helping brother out special. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Till next time.